Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I don't know why there's no sound or no music. Well, there, there's some sound. Okay. The sound is definitely on, but it's just choosing to not play music. I really wish the music was on like a 20 or a, <clears throat> a permanent like loop track, but sometimes it stops. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There's some music now. Okay. We're getting steel. We um, decided to do the steel there and um, we are got our defenses up last episode and we're doing really well. So uh, what do we need to do next? We probably need to think about trains. I don't know if we actually need to build them or not. Um, one of the things we can do is actually get more labs in this structure here. I do want to get these other machines built, the level two assemblers. Those are going to be important. Why are we not getting those? We're not getting steel. Okay, steel is going to come on this line here. Do we have labs being made? Not yet, alas. Okay, let's get those made because we want to have more. I feel like we're the, the science is going a little bit slow because of the lack of labs. Now, we had this. I don't know if we connected it. We did. Okay, so it's just slow. Where's the steel? Hello? Ah, we're held up by some trees. The true enemy of Factorio. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we should be getting that stuff quite soon. Quite soon. And this we can use for our personal power pole manufacturing facility. Also, uh, this is a train or, or track. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put a box here because um, I'm going to put that in the blueprint, I think, as well. I need to put those boxes, just a recycle box for stone. Let's see. Where is my thing? All right, I'm going to get, I'm getting a text file. Okay, let's see. Put stone box for, for train tracks. And then the next thing was, ah, uh, string power poles over, uh, smelting. Yep. Okay. That was another thing from discord that I should have done, but I haven't done it yet. It is, it's, it's in process. We'll just say that it's in process. Sure. Sure. KOS it's in process. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, this belt is meant for um, the accumulators and solar panels to come back from this area and actually go and be produced. We don't actually have them, do we? Okay. We might want to get those things going. That will help us in our energy production and, um, and make things a little bit better. These are power poles. Yes, we need power poles. There we go. I like these medium power poles. They have a nice AOE. They're pretty great. So, right. So this we can actually make into be train tracks. I don't remember what this is supposed to be. Ugh. No, I don't remember. We're gonna have to plop the thing again. I thought we could, we could do without it. We could do the thing without it. Are we getting steel? There's the steel. That means we have assemblers. So let's make things. Oh my God. Here we go. Look at this. Ah, <laughs> that's great. Okay, that means we can actually recycle all of the level ones. Those can go in here. And that means we put these on the bar. Perfect. These are made very quickly. We just need to make sure that the uh, bots can, or not the bots, but the inserters. They are the thing that is slowing these things down. But let's go and put them all down. Put them down, put them down. All right. Go get more. They are made. I think they're made in like half a second or something. They're very fast. You can even speed it up. There we go. I was like, what is that noise? Ah, oh, there's a noise in my house. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, that's the laundry spinning down. Yes, I managed to do my laundry today. Wow. Yes, it's been mm, a thing. Um. I wish I had a modern washing machine, kind of, kind of. In some ways I don't care. In some ways I'm like, it would be so convenient if I did. Um, some of my friends and people have like these machines that um, they, they wash and dry. You just put it in once and it does both cycles. And I'm like, oh, that's so nice. And I don't have one. 
I don't know if it's worth it though because I hate waste as well. Like so if I if I buy a washing machine like that, this is a perfectly good washing machine that I have, right? So I don't I don't want to like I don't know. Just feels wrong to throw out something that works perfectly well. Um and it's just due to my laziness that I want a better one. Yeah. I don't know if it's laziness. It is it is a little bit amount of time that you have to take. Let's see, this is not getting steel. Why is it not getting steel? Because this is the wrong inserter. Oh, hmm. I'm going to check the, all right, check steel inserter for RR tracks. That's weird. Was that because we, we changed something in here or is that wrong with the blueprint? We need to check that. That's important. Anyway, we have the ability now to make railroad tracks. Uh, let's look at the pollution again. Yeah, this biter nest is going to start attacking us. So we probably should go attack them first. I would really like to get lasers, but that's not going to happen for a while. So probably need to make a train station somewhere. Usually I like to have a train station maybe around here, I guess, so that it can feed the bus and feed the smelting lines and things like that. That We have plenty of space here, which is very, very nice. So those are a thing. Let's go ahead and take them. Take a few. Oh, well, it's 41. That's not a lot. <laughs> it's very few. That's very, very few. Uh, all right. So we did get all of the train technologies. Let's go ahead and renew this boutique thing because we're going to be able to add things like, um, there it goes, add things like train signals, railroad signals, all these kind of things. We also got the power poles on here, which is very nice. How is this working? Are you working? You doing? You're getting copper. Okay, you're gonna get the steel soon. That's fine. And signals should be here. There they go. They're making right now. Hooray. I'll come back and get the trainee stuff. Uh, right now, we were, oh, actually, we were gonna look at more labs. So let's get some more labs because I feel like the science is a little bit slow. And that's because of the labs. Obviously, we have plenty of, let's add 10 more. Uh, we have plenty of science. I mean, it's backed up on the belt, so it's not the science. It's the labs right now. So let's just copy this this thing. It's a simple thing. Is it 10? Yes, it is 10. So we'll just copy that and add that there and just add the belt along here. Okay, very good. And nanobots, keep working. Work your little tails off. There we go. Okay, there we go. Why is that not placing? Huh? I grabbed 10 labs. I copied 10 labs. Why? Why is there one missing? I don't understand this math. Oh, there it is. Obviously reserved by a nanobot, but not put down directly. Okay, that's weird. I don't know what's going on with these nanobots. Feels like they're quite slow. I don't, I don't really get it. Um, okay, so... The next thing we need to do actually is go into blue science, really. So we have these things coming up. That's great. We could also get military science. Military science is quite important. Uh, there we have military science packs here. Those are needed by military too. So we'll go ahead and research that. And we also need to get blue science. But yeah, I feel like we were very slow on science for quite a while. So that's not great. That is definitely not great. Um, maybe we put one. Well, you know what? Let's go get the other 10 labs because we can now research things quite quickly by having so many labs down. So let's just do that. Let's do the thing. We will do the thing. We now have 20 more labs. Let's just do 20 more labs. Because we have all of this technology. It's just fine. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we are doubling it yet again. <clears throat> it's kind of a standardized rule in Factorio too. When you don't have enough, you can double it. Why not? Uh, okay. Yeah, all of these are actually reserved. That's really funny to me that the nanobots have reserved all of them. To the point where we have none left. We need, oh, we might need red inserters though. Let's go and check those because it looks like we might be lacking there. Um, why is this not powered? Huh, weird. Okay, 
Red inserters, where are you? Oh, also assemblers. Yo. Get several. We can get several here. We now have uh, signals. We need 10 of these. How? What is this for? 20? Why do we need 20 of those? I think, oh, I think it's for the, yeah, I know what it's for. It's for when we are loading the train and then we need some for ourselves and that kind of thing. Let's take all of these. Okay. Long-handed inserters and mining drills. Let's go and pick up some mining drills because we don't have enough of those either. Um, I should also, let's see, let's get some of these too. Uh, mining drills, where are you? Did I miss them? Hello? There they are. Okay, cool, cool. Let's take a couple stacks. Always nice to have a couple stacks. And we can toss out some of the other stuff here. There we go. All right, there we go. We can also recycle this wood into some kind of fuel for for the uh, furnaces right now. And recycle the ore as well. Just kind of like put stuff away. Or we can put it in a dump chest. That's another option. <clears throat> dump chest is like where you throw away just unwanted stuff where you're not going to use it very often anymore. So let's see here. So what I usually do is I just take these things and then control click it into a thing. And then let's get the copper going on. You can have this. Thank you. And then we are going to recycle a lot of this material. Oh yeah, we already built one. Of course we did. Sorry, I'm running four, four Factorio maps at the same time. I do forget every, <laughs> on occasion what I have added and what I have not. So this is one of the things we can do is actually fill this coal belt more because we are running a lot of stuff off the coal belt. So it's time to kind of fill this out, get more miners here. Let's see this. Go there, you. If you can't have, if you don't have the proper spacing for stuff, it's good to kind of spread them out just a tiny bit. Um, you know, in lieu of missing patches. Okay, so now we can take these off, which are this going to generate a lot of coal for us. We can put that again into the dump chest, uh, or not dump chest. That is actually not a dump chest. It is a just a uh, recycling chest, is what it is. Very different things, very different concepts. Now here we're going to want to make sure that we have, uh, actually this is a nice way to do more compact designs. You can actually put them between the power poles. And so that belt has to go through here. Okay. And then going to go down there and it can squiggle through and then join the other belt. Something like this. Let's walk down here and join that way. You remember you want to join with a splitter because of the unevenness of things and stuff. Now we can actually filter some of this stuff, but we don't have enough space here. Um, we can probably do that a little bit later. Okay. So now we have the other choice here. Well, not choice, I guess it's a it's kind of a, what I'm going to do here is just do a belt this way and take it that away. And we might have a little bit of trouble because, <laughs> because again, these things, they, you can do, you can span two with wooden power poles. Um, but that's about it. There we go. And you good. Okay. So, so now we've covered the entire coal patch, but this is going to be a problem in the future because we don't actually uh, we're not going to have enough coal to power everything. So again, we're pushing all the coal we can down to the, uh, this area here. Why do you not have ammo? Oh, because you don't have power. That would be a reason. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I do have extra steam engines. So I'm just going to chuck them in here for when we need more. Okay. And then the way you get rid of a an extra box you don't want or extra burner miners that you're never going to need. Same with burner inserters. You shoot the box. Oh, that's not the right thing. Hi, don't shoot it with nanobots. It doesn't work. There you go. This is how to delete stuff. That is probably the only time you'll ever do that unless you're playing C block. 
But yeah, that's uh, that's how you do things. And people are like, oh my god, but I need to recycle it. No, you don't. Those those few things of uh, iron plates. How many are we talking about? How how many did we have? Like twenty or something? You can multiply by how many you used. Don't worry, you don't have to cheat. And just use an arbitrary number. I don't remember. I think it was like twenty or twenty six. Where the heck are they? There they are. Okay, so nine iron plates times twenty. Or 30, let's go 30. That's 270 iron plates. Okay. Production. We are making here 2,000 per minute. Do we care about 270 iron plates? The answer is no. We do not. We absolutely do not care. We don't care. Trust me, we don't care. I don't care. You shouldn't care either because that's a handful of iron plates. You do not need to recycle it. No, no. It's just not relevant at all. Also, I need to get a bunch of bricks in my inventory because... Wait, what's going on here? Why do you not have... Oh, you're short on inserters. That's very sad. Oh, no. There's no insertions to be happening. Oh, no. All right. Um, the reason we want to do that, and we're going to put this on the bar here is we're going to make a little bit of a sidewalk. Let's find out how, how wide we want to make our sidewalk. I usually do it like four. So we have two on regular ground and two over the belts like this. And this enables us to walk faster. And if we're on a belt, we walk faster as well. No, dude, yo. Oh my God. Okay, let's pick it up again. Um, and yes, if you're walking on a belt, which is on sidewalk, that is also faster. I know that doesn't make sense, but we are not in making sense land. We're in Factorio. It's fine. Oh, 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 um, uh, mm, that actually moved, didn't it? It did move. Well, shoot. Okay, it's fine. We can, we can, we can pave this area. It will be fine. Eh. Kind of changed around here land. Okay, we need to go get more bricks. Let's go get some more bricks. You don't also have to make straight lines. You can just go wherever you want to go. And we'll probably do that a little bit later where we just like, okay, I want to get faster here. So let me make a path for it. And I'm going to go diagonal because that actually makes sense. You know? So how many is that? That's 192. That's not enough. So we'll... We will raid the belts again. Okay. Don't want to grab that stone. No. No stone. I don't want it. Night. Do not. Night. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right. I think that's enough. So like here, we could just do a path. Let's do a little bit less of a path. Less path, just because it's a shorter distance. And, oh, okay, that's fine. We also don't care if it's squiggly. We don't. We don't actually care if it's squiggly. Um, but one of the things we need the trains for, of course, is because we are... Okay. Because we don't have enough to power all those, uh, you know, the green circuit arrays at all. Okay, let me just delete these rocks. These are inconveniently in the way. These will also go away. And then we take... We'll just finish out the bricks so we don't have them in our inventory. There we go. This is looking great. Okay, fantastic. Now we have much, much stone <laughs> and coal. So we will go and we will recycle it. Because when you have, you can have dump chests and that's fine and it's convenient. But sometimes if you're just walking by anyway, you might as well put it in the thing. Like, you know, come on. Uh, that's a thing. It's needed. Okay, military science. We got the pack finally for that. What do we need for this? We need to have many things. Okay, we need fluid handling. Okay. We definitely need oil wells. Yes. Plastic. Yes. These are all the oily things that we're going to we're going to get, we're going to process, we're going to make. And this needs other things. Oh, sulfur, of course. Yes. We need sulfur, we need blue science, and then we're going to need batteries. Where did the batteries go? Uh, I lost them. There they are. 
We can get the batteries, and then after that, we can probably get... Wait, where did I... Why do we not have solar panels yet? Oh, because we don't have lights. Oh, dear. That's sad. Let's get lights. Whoops. <laughs> I seem to have forgotten the lights. Uh, we'll get the Defender capsules soon as well. But, um, oh, yeah, let's go over that technology. So fluid handling. So blue science is called chemical science, and it's all about uh, harvesting oil from the world and turning it into various products. So we need fluid handling, which gives us uh, storage tanks, and then we have all these barreling things. We get uh, a pump, which we can control the oil flow with. It's like, a, it's like a splitter kind of for, it's not a splitter, but it's like a control mechanism for this stuff. Um, then we have, of course, the pump jacks, which are needed to extract the oil. This also gives us refineries, chem plants, which are just basically like assemblers for oil. Uh, then we have plastics, which is an, an intermediate, which is used in quite a few things, uh, namely red circuits, which we're going to need for blue science. And also in, um, in later game, we use it for um, some low density structures and other things like that. Advanced electronics gives us red chips. Yes, these are called advanced circuits. I don't know why they don't call it red chips because everybody uh, everywhere calls it red chips. Nobody calls it advanced circuits. Um, but yeah, red chips are a component of blue science. Uh, those are needed for that. Sulfur is also needed for blue science and you get sulfur and sulfuric acid recipes. Sulfuric acid is used for making blue chips, which is the next tier after red. And it is also used for making batteries and some other stuff as well. So, and then we have the beautiful blue science and this needs sulfur, red circuits and engine units, which we haven't really talked about yet, but I believe we have them unlocked um, because I think we're making them with trains. And of course lights gives us lights and it also gives us access to solar panels, which I should have researched long ago. I was like, why don't we, cause the solar panels are at the end of this assembly. And I'm like, why don't we have those yet? I'm like, huh? Cause it is a red, um, a red uh, green science. It's not blue. Also, we are making, oh, we have an engine. Yes, yes. Okay, what I do wanna do is, so before we can really get resources, I really wanna kill some biters. We need to kill some of these nests because they're gonna make our lives kinda hell. Definitely kinda hell. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to, uh, let's extend the bus first of all. Um, yep. Uh, but, you know, it's so funny because, like, a lot of things we can't do much about. Like, we can't uh, make more, you know, copper lines because we don't actually have the copper production. So things are a bit uh, not ideal because we don't have trains. If you don't play with biters, like, I really don't like biters, and I typically don't. I'm doing it because this is entry level to Mega Base, and people watch this series they have for years. Like, I've had many incarnations of this series. This is obviously number five, but, um, they watch this series because they want to have the vanilla experience, I think. I don't know. Maybe they don't. Maybe they would be perfectly happy for not playing with biters. I don't know. But I do it because people want to know how to deal with biters, and so we are going to show you how to deal with biters or me it's not really a we at the moment so <laughs> though i could maybe i could entice a person to play with me namely matthias i love playing factorial with matthias he's awesome he's so awesome all right so now i'm gonna go uh go get the blueprint again for the science because i have measured these with the calculator i don't really want to go through the calculator stuff i'm gonna i think i'll make a tutorial about how to use a factorio calculator so that you can use it for yourself um i've explained it in many series before but i also feel like it's a lot of distraction i have to have another window and all this other kind of stuff and it's not really that fun to watch so let's go back to go to the science things and these are all meant to make X, two per second. As you see at the top, they're meant to make two per second. So we're just going to take this and place it down. So I'm going to kind of align the first assemblers with um, what we have. So we have enough room for the fluid bus. And I'm going to leave some space here, okay? Because I want to do probably car science uh, next. You know what? Let me mark down car science because I love car science. I think car science is super fun. Uh, let's see. This is car science. This is the width of car science. Can I? Okay, so let's mark that here. So that's, that's okay. That It fits in there. All right. And then we're going to, let's get our blue and gray. Okay. And this, again, will align the, the level of the assembler. So we have plenty of room for belts and stuff. Why am I not moving? Okay, probably a rock. 
All right, that seems to be good here. I think that will fit. All right, very good, very good, very good. Um, and so bots will start placing all this stuff. The other side here is blue science, and that's why you can't see the assemblers, because we haven't actually researched blue science. It's, uh, it's still in the queue here. Also, now that we have the lights, let's go and grab the solar panels. Uh, so those can start getting crafting, and I'll just leave those there. That technology gives us the actual object, the solar panel. Um, but the problem with the solar panels is, well, you probably guessed it, they only work during the daytime. Imagine that. Um, and the reason that's important is because you need um, a corollary item called an accumulator. Uh, an accumulator is basically a giant battery that stores the energy that is generated during the day and then outputs it uh, at a time when there's no electricity, uh, usually at night when the, the thing drops lower. Um, let's see, we also have, oh, we ran out of everything. We need to also get red belts made, looks like. We also need many assemblers. We need um, some undergroundies and stuff. So let's go shopping at the mall again. Um, these are the boutiques, of course, but yeah, we just always call it the mall anyway, because the mall is the thing. So what is a mall? People always ask me this. What is a mall? A mall is the structure uh, where you make your factory machines. Okay. So you're making the machines that make everything else. The mall does not have intermediate products in it. That is not the function of the mall because the mall is meant to be a very compact thing where you make, you know, uh, one assembler of each item. That's an important f feature of the mall, uh, where you're not making a bunch of intermediaries. You're just making what you need for the factory. It's meant to run when you are away. It's not meant to be a thing that produces at throughput. Um, some of the things you can increase, like belt maybe making or something like that, uh, if you need it. Usually you don't. Like by the time you go around and do stuff and things, it's it just it works just fine, really. Okay, let's change these to steel chests here, and that is going to give us red belts, which are very nice, very tasty, nice. Um, so the mall makes the machines that make the factory. Like I said, it does not produce intermediates. So don't, don't try to confuse that. It's not good. That is not good. Oh, also let's get the AP ammo up and running because we haven't gotten that yet. Okay. There we go. Not a lot of steel, a steel. So even though it's a full array down there, like I said, it takes five times the amount of time to produce steel as it does um, regular uh, regular plates, you're only going to fill one fifth of a belt. Okay, so we're going to have want to have many steel arrays to get more more stuff. But the problem is, wait, do we have AP ammo? Yes, we do. Let's go fix this. These are all AP ammo. All these assemblers. Whoops. Whoops. Why did it not copy? Oh, because I'm pressing the wrong button. Yep, that would make the difference. Mm hmm. There we go. Okay, so AP ammo is being output there. So we might want to change this box to distributing AP ammo instead. But first of all, I would like to get our own AP ammo uh, cache on us. Maybe we have a thing where we don't take out of the box unless it's X amount in there. Let's see, how can we do this? Um, right, okay, we can do a this. Oh, we're missing an assembler. How did we miss that? Oh, something, oh, we had the small electric pole in the way. Oh no, okay, that's not good. It's terrible. Okay. Well, what we can do with this is we can do a thing like this. Uh, another small electric poles in the way. Good Lord. All these poles everywhere. Dang it. Here, let's do a thing where we, do we have circuits yet? We do have circuits. Okay. We need copper for this. Go grab some. We need to make a whole bunch of wire. Oh my God. Why are we doing this? No, 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 no. Stop. Let's get green circuits as well. We need green circuits and copper for the wire pieces here. So let's just make a few at a time. There we go. Okay, because we're gonna need a fair amount of wire in this game, because we like to do that kind of thing. 
So we're gonna, basically we're gonna distribute this stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, it's actually going on the opposite side of the belt, which is not ideal. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna do this. Um, so let's get our power pole in here. Proper power pole. Oh, no, that's not the right spot. Okay, there is fine. So we're going to limit this thing because we want to have a cache that we can go and kill biters with, right? This is important. So we're going to have... Pardon me, that was an emergency sneeze. We apologize for the inconvenience. Um, okay, so anyway, it's taking from this box over here. So we're going to say if ammo is greater than uh, 500 or so. How much do we need? Let's do a thousand. That's a lot of ammo, but yeah, if it's greater than a thousand, then it will enable the inserter, okay? Now, I'm gonna do something very sneaky with this one and say something similar. If this one is, uh, if this, something a thousand then work if it's less than a thousand if it's more than a thousand i want the ap ammo on the line not this ammo right so that is what i am uh thinking right now with this stuff but how much ammo do we have not a lot and here is where we need to actually make this ap ammo and get this stuff transferred here um, so that we have, how are we actually making any? That was really strange. Like, how did we actually get any to make? Oh, because we had some at the end of the line here. That's why. Okay. But right now we're kind of crippling our AP ammo because we are, uh, sending it out with this inserter, but are we using it? That's the good question, I guess, is, oh, we should put some lights out here. Uh, we did get lights. That's good. Uh, but I'm not going to move here until we actually get the solar stuff. Let's see. We can check with different, um, check and see. What we should do is straighten out this corner for one. Um, though I, I guess it doesn't matter technically there. Uh, but we can't see the biter corpses <laughs> because we need to have, uh, we need to have some uh, of these guys. Let's put, let's put a few radars. Actually, that's not a good spot. Let's put them like here. So it's a little bit further out from the wall. So the biters cannot, uh, do that. So how are we doing on, on, oh, we're actually running out of science. This is great. This is actually great. Okay. Let's go and get those red belts and see if we can do a little bit of work on the array. Okay. Red belts. Hello. Let us welcome you into our, our open arms here. Let's also get yellow belts. Okay, here's our red belts. We can do a little bit on red belt land. Hello, and hello you. So at the moment, we kind of wanna just make sure, oh wow, 100, I don't think I need 100. Let's just put some back, put several back. We also have too much junk in our inventory. Let's just take this, yep, stone. This is a nice thing to recycle stone and it will make you your bots happy later for sure. Okay, let's go back here and work on this stuff. Do we have enough nanobots? I forgot to check for that. Nope, we don't. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. All right, let's just do some of this work ourselves. We don't have to have that many nanobots. Okay. We're probably gonna run out very shortly. Oops, okay, it's fine. It's going in the same direction anyway. Oh, doesn't help if I turn the bots off. That's not good. Yeah, doing this stuff by hand is such a pain in the socks. <clears throat> Let's replop also so that we have the, um, the blues in there because I think we got blue science. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. And then now is when we can start kind of like, okay, now we know what we're going to do. Oh, and we forgot the red, red chips. 
We didn't put down the red chips yet. It's okay though. We are fine. We will be fine. It will be fine. We need to go shopping for many things like power poles and stuff too. Uh, here's our nanobots. Let's go and just take 400. I always like to grab that 400 amount just because we can and it's great. Um, let's take these. 52 transport belts is not enough, but it's okay. Uh, that's what we have, so that's what we got. Now then, power poles. Those are important. 200 is maybe too many. Do we need anything else? I think we're actually okay on the other stuff. So let's just go down here. Again, walk on the belt on the sidewalk if you can. That's where we want to go with this. Wait, what happened here? Huh? I is confused by this. Why is this here? Okay, let's see how that functions because that's... Looks like something is dropping onto that side of the belt. Do we mean to do that on that side of the belt? Oh, yes we do. Okay, this should be a curve there. I don't know why that... I... Oh, you know, it was me putting the belt straight. That's what happened there. Yep. In the blueprint, it will be correct. But yeah, that was just me putting stuff straight. I'm going to go and grab more assemblers because those we forgot to shop for. I know this seems like... So one of the things you can definitely do here is get your bricks and then do a sidewalk in the mall itself or maybe even pave the whole thing. Ah, we can replop for solar energy. Hooray. Okay, so now... Now what we can do, let's get batteries. Those are important. Stack inserters. Yay. We love those. Weapon shooting speed is also important. We need to really work on the military stuff right now. Modular armor gives us a better armor suit. That is good for defending yourself against uh, said biters. They're kind of bad. Um, we don't have the sciences set up yet. So let's just work on the um, red green. So batteries are an intermediate product, which we need for various things. We have stack inserters, which are amazing. We love those. Then we've got the weapon shooting speed again, affects our uh, fire, um, different, different uh, magazines of stuff. And then we have modular armor, which is a different kind of an armor thing. And it has the, what, uh, an equipment grid, which we need to start researching those special items. So we can get portable solar panels. Those are probably the first thing we want to get as well as personal roboports. Um, so, or no, legs. We need the legs. That's the first thing. Roboports, we don't care because we got nanobots. And then we have our lab research speed goes up. Fluid wagon helps us carry fluid on trains. It's a lot better than the old days. We, you can still do the old days method, which is basically putting barrels of stuff on trains. I kind of like that in a way, but it doesn't make a lot of sense, you know, not in this kind of a game. So, um, yeah, we don't use that anymore. Should we get some more? I guess we can get some more of that uh, stone bricks to uh, make make things a little bit faster. Faster, faster. Okay, and we can start connecting things. That's definitely a, a plus item that we can work on. So this is steel. All right, and let's get that going. This is the steel belt. I, I wonder where it's gone. Where is the steel? Oh, right. It's over there. It is over here. Okay, let's go. There we are. Okay. Now this one, we have um, iron. So we'll just take this from here. Put that in. Red circuits we don't have yet. Uh, we are needing fluids now from the bus. So that is something we don't actually have yet. So we're going to have to put that in. Also, this is the reason why we need coal on the bus. You probably were wondering, like, why are we putting coal on the bus? Well, this is why. Because this stuff actually needs pure coal. And make sure that you are using pure coal. Because if you put wood on the bus, on the coal line, thinking, yeah, it's fine. It's not fine. Trust me. It isn't fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Okay, here we need the stone bricks. Again, another item that you probably were wondering about. But um, it's a thing. You just kind of learn them from experience. I mean, yeah, of course you can plan all of these things, but... 
we're just going to do the full line of, of stone bricks there. Okay. And then we have, um, iron. And then this one is copper and steel. So we'll take those again, copper. Uh, there are, um, places where we've already pulled copper and steel off the bus. You can, uh, go and copy those things, but I usually find it's just faster to do this. I know it's strange, but yep, it is actually faster for me. Maybe for you, it's different. Okay. We now have issues. All right. We now have issues. So let's go and put coal. Aha. Let's just give all of these things our blessing of coal and, uh, that will be better. Yay. Okay. That worked. Nice. And we need to vacuum this stuff off the, the thing because otherwise the bolts might pick it up. Okay. So this is working. Uh, and now it looks like we just might need, uh, power poles. So we'll take those across. Um, okay. All right. I'll put this down here because I don't want to interfere with this area here when we get the car science and this is missing a power pole. Okay. Are we got it now? We have got it now. Great. So now we have at least, I think military science is complete. Yes, it is. It is complete. Uh, except for this one is uh, a little bit lacking in the belts. Okay. I probably shouldn't make these. I think these probably can stand to be yellow belts. I don't know why I made them red belts. I'm pretty sure that we don't need the throughput of red belts. So I might just uh, take that down and let's actually make an upgrade planner or a downgrade planner in this case. Let's make red belts to yellow here and red thingies. Actually not those let's do, we can do splitters to yellow, uh, red undergrounds have a longer reach. So I think, yeah, we don't want to do that in case we mess up the reach on those like here, these guys, these, um, I know it's actually, they're actually yellow, yellow level. So shouldn't be too bad. We can actually go and get some more yellow belts because, uh, we have many of those being produced and that's just fine. Um, right again, too much stone. And now let's go and get plenty of yellow belts. Let's just take a half a box. 983 should be enough. <laughs> should be enough. Should be fine. Yep. And we have filled up our inventory completely with yellow belts, but soon enough they will go away. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot to do this one. Yeah. These definitely don't need, I believe they don't need the throughput. I'll check it again and I'll redo the blueprints and see. Um, it's such a pain to, to do the blueprints and it's like, okay, we got to do this and this and this and this and that. So, um, and I've been extremely busy with streaming recently, by the way, if you haven't checked out my stream, I highly encourage you to do so. You definitely get a different, uh, a different, uh, a little bit naughtier version of the Catherine, if you can handle that. Uh, but we have a ton of fun on the stream. It's really great. We enjoy it very much and, uh, it's a fun thing. It's a fun process. Uh, and here, okay. So what we have here, you see how little iron there is coming along this line. Uh, we need to fix that. And what's happening is of course, you know, we have this full thing of iron coming in, but it's getting used at various junctions here. Okay. So we've, what we've started to do is we've started to shift it over, but we still have some to shift. And what we really need is more iron. We need those four lanes of iron on the bus here because it's just not enough. Okay. So input or output priority left, and this is going to go away because this is just stored iron. You see, look, there's none here over there. It's, this is not a good situation. We definitely need more iron. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not great. Um, what, what can we here? Coal here. Take my coal. I don't want this coal. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Um, and we have way too many, um, uh, we have way too many power poles. I've noticed way, way too many. So I'm going to start, I'm going to ditch the, um, uh, first of all, I'm going to go to the mall and we'll put dump chests here. I think if it's convenient. So let's take those out. We don't need those at all. Uh, we can put this iron ore in there. We don't really care. These machines, I guess I sort of care, sort of don't care. Let's just put those in the box. Wait, why are you not working? You're not getting steel. Oh dear. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. We desperately need some more resources. That's for sure. And also typically wood goes in a box too, since we're not hurting on, uh, 
on stuff. Also, the pistol can go in there too. And what's going on here? Okay, so we're still researching things here. Did we start making solar panels yet? No. We didn't replop them when we had solar? Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Replop the boutiques again. And there we go. When they all go purple, you know you're going. Oh, there they go. Look at them wildly waving their arms around. Hooray! So that's good. So we needed one pole there. These are going to be the accumulators, but we're still going to we're going to get these um, uh, solar panels down here. This this return belt is actually those, and those are meant to go to a train. Um, so it takes us to another place where we can actually place the solar panels. Uh, we could actually connect it here maybe because we can, uh, have this area for solar. Maybe we'll have to see, but in any case, uh, we need to finish off this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Wait, why are we, huh? Hello? What is happening here? This is wrong. Oh my God. There we go. Okay. Anyway. Is that hello? Hello. It's too long. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness we found it. But we've had plenty to dump in the chest. So that's how it's been surviving, I guess, all this time. Anyway, uh, time for us to finish off this episode. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to our channel, my channel. Um, and I say our, because I feel like our community is so great. We like generate ideas together and it feels very much like an R channel. Um, but anyway, uh, if you enjoyed it, yeah, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell icon and all notifications. And if there's any like further sub menus of notifications, make sure you tell YouTube you really want to see this stuff. So anyway, um, and consider becoming a patron of the channel if you are enjoying this stuff and the things. Uh, I really appreciate all of my patrons and well, everybody who supports the channel. Uh, you're awesome and great. And I'm very thankful that you're here. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.